birds as being nocturnal. So, who comes out at night? Owls. Who? Owls. That's right. And owls usually say who. And I have an owl to share with everyone. This is one of the largest species of owl on the planet, known as a Eurasian eagle owl. And we call him Artemis. Come on out here, Artemis. Huh. Right up here, buddy. Weep. Huh. Right up here, Artemis. There we go. You can welcome him to stage. I think he needs encouragement today. Owls have traits that make them very different from the day-active raptors to allow them to hunt well at night. You may have noticed his gigantic orange eyes. His eyes are about the same size as yours and mine, but he can dilate them about 100 times more than we can dilate ours. Which means I told he can you probably see 100 I know. times better than we can <laughs> at night. We've seen owls such as this hunting for prey as small as a mouse from a football field away using only starlight to see by. But if they can't see their prey, they can still find it with almost 100% accuracy. That's what they're incredible hearing. <laughs> you might notice that dark outline around his face. It's known as a spatial disc. It's made of sound-sensitive feathers that help him funnel sound into huge ear openings on the side of his head. His hearing is so powerful. <laughs> I thought I was kidding. <laughs> but he can hear something the size of a mouse under two feet of grass or snow and catch it without ever seeing it. But also, they have another interesting trait, the ability to sneak up on their prey. So as he flew by, what'd you hear? Nothing. That's right, owls are capable of perfectly silent flight because the edge of their feathers are extremely soft. So when they flap their wings, there's no loud flapping noises, or when their feathers rub together, you don't hear rubbing or friction sounds. Have you ever heard pigeons take off? See, all that noise is from their feathers rubbing or bumping together or making those flapping sounds with the air, and they couldn't sneak up on much. But the ability to fly quietly allows an owl to sneak up on a wide variety of prey, including animals that hear as well as they do, such as perhaps mice and rats. But it's not uncommon for eagle owls to catch prey as large as fox, or believe it or not, even deer. There's a type of deer in Europe known as a roe deer that weighs about 40 pounds and stands two feet tall. If that wasn't impressive enough on its own, this owl only weighs about four pounds. You have to remember feathers and hollow bones, so they look much larger than they actually are. But it's still impressive to know that he could catch an animal ten times his body weight. Well, Artemis, you have done a great job, but it's time for you to head home. Are you ready? Artemis, go home! <laughs> Artemis, go home! There he goes, everyone! Artemis, the eagle owl! Well done! <laughs> and did you get a good look? This is an interactive program, by the way, if the audience hasn't figured that out. Well, let's see, the next bird that I would like to share is yet another owl. This one is quite a bit different, though, from the other one you see. Well, uh, I'll let you see. You ready, Master Paul? Okay. This bird is, uh, her name is Widget. She's quite a, a bit different, but I'm sure you're going to fall in love. Oh, I love Widget. Right I know. Here, Widget. She's my favorite. She is a bar now. You can welcome her to stage as well. <laughs> Again, she's a bar now, and bar owls are considered to be the most nocturnal, the most reclusive, and the quietest of all the owls. But also, they're incredible mousers. A single wild barn owl could easily catch and consume two or three mice in a single night. But imagine that that oh. <laughs> What are you doing, Widget? Yeah, that, was that was good. <laughs> Did you get the picture? No. no. <laughs> you would have had a picture of the last thing a mouse sees before it dies. <laughs> I have no idea what that was about. But he was standing Go up. Go back up here to the perch, Widget. But again... A wild barn owl could easily catch and consume two or three mice in a single night. You have to realize, though, that that owl might have a mate, raising anywhere from three to five babies at a time, sometimes as often as possibly two or even three times a year. Just imagine the number of rodents that owl family could consume in that one-year time period. But also, owls, like other raptors, are immune to most of the diseases that rodents might carry. I'm talking about diseases as dangerous as the hantavirus, hog cholera, rabies, even the black plague. 
All four are very dangerous for humans and other mammals to come in contact with. As a matter of fact, lethal in most cases. But every time an owl eats an infected mouse or rat, they help stop the spread of disease to people, but also they're helping keep those animal populations under control. Hey, Widget, can you come back up here? Something else, though, that I found very interesting about the barn owl is that scientists and historians believe that they may be the origin of the story of the banshee, <laughs> or the screaming ghost of Ireland. Now, first of all, we know they fly almost perfectly silent. <laughs> Widget, back up here. But also, take a look at that ghostly white face. Underneath her wings and her chest and tail are almost pure white. So imagine going out to your barn late at night, hundreds of years ago, with nothing more than perhaps a candle to light your way. If you disturbed a family of barn owls, they would come floating out of the darkness with, and in order to scare you away, they would make a funny screaming sound, hence the idea of a screaming banshee. And you know, if it were myself, scared out of my very own barn by a little fluffy bird like that, I'd make up the story of the banshee as well. Yeah. Come on back up here, Widget. This way, Widget. There we go. But once again, what do you say for Widget? Beautiful bird. So, let's see if she'll fly home for us. She's only been flying in and out of this release box for a few weeks. And for the first time ever today, she's flown all the way back in. So we'll give it a try. You ready, Widget? Go home. Hup. Widget, it's your big exit. <laughs> go home, Widget. Widget, go home. Hup. Well, that's cheating, but one more hop, Widget. Uh, all the way? No. A little closer there, Paul. There she goes, Widget, the barn.